Hi guys, welcome back to Taryn Makes Up. Today I have a gorgeous model who has been on my channel before. Her name is Annabelle. We previously did a heat proof, sweat proof makeup tutorial, which I'll link below if you haven't already seen. But keeping in mind it's the festive season, I thought it was time to do something a little bit colourful, a little bit fun, and something that would be great for kind of Christmas parties or the holiday season in general. Um, and it's a, a really good statement eye, basically, with a gorgeous kind of blue tone. It's very, very jeweled, I'd say. It's kind of a bejeweled eye look. So I hope you guys like the look. So the first thing I've started with on Annabelle's skin is a bit of the EX1 Invisiwear. I really, really love this foundation as it's SPF free as well. So no worry about parties, kind of being in flash photos, it's still gonna photograph really nicely. And you can build the coverage with this as well, which is really nice. And then I've used, just used a little bit of the Double Wear Stay In Place Flawless Concealer by Estee Lauder, just around certain areas to brighten. So the product I'm gonna show you guys how to use today is one of the new Kiko Moon Shadow um, Eyeshadow Sticks. And this is water infused. It's really nice if you have any dryness on your eye because it just really helps kind of de-puff and it's very cooling on the eyes. And I wanted to use quite a strong color today to give you guys a bit of a fun party look. So I'm gonna take this gorgeous blue colour. It just has a number. I think it's just number four. So if you close your eyes for me, Annabelle. So I'm just going to start to apply this to the lower part of the eye. And you can see how gorgeous and intense this colour is. And what's really nice is with this kind of makeup is you can do your base first. You don't have to worry about it spilling downwards or onto the skin. And then just taking a Zoeva Lux Definer brush, I'm going to start to buff that in. And I just want to start to get a bit of base colour on the lid first. And these blend really, really lovely as well. And then I'm just taking that blue and I'm gonna wriggle it right into the lashes, just so there's no skin showing at the bottom lash line. And that's where you want the most intensity of the blue as well. And I'm just gonna start really building the shape now. So I'm going up to where the socket is and winging it out slightly with the shape. So the shape's a little bit more feline. And just pull it out a little bit on the corners just so you get that nice elongation. And you can even use something like a pencil brush, just straight from the crayon, just to help you really perfect the shape. So imagine if you were doing liner, you were just kind of flicking it outwards, and then you can just carry that on as your shape, just to help you wing it out slightly. So once you've got to about that stage, there's still time to kind of perfect your shape, but what will make it easier to perfect the shape as well is to take the same colour underneath the eye. So if I turn you that way for me, Annabelle, and look up, you can take a little bit of that underneath, and again, you can just see then where you need to smoke the shape out a little bit more. And I'm gonna join this pretty much all the way along. And then you can just see where you're kind of joining up that flick on the outer corner. So you get that really nice feline shape. So just going back in with the 217, just keep softening as you go along. It'll just make the shape that little bit easier to keep it soft. So next product I'm gonna take is one of the Barry M. This is their Bold Black Waterproof Eyeliner. Again, it's nice knowing you've got a waterproof option. If it's a party makeup, so it's gonna be really long wearing. And if you look up for me, Annabelle, this black coal is just really gonna make the makeup pop and really give it that kind of statement, sort of Cleopatra eye. And then I'm just gonna smudge that in a bit back with that pencil brush, just so it becomes part of the blue. And then also to really get that statement, I'm gonna take some black liquid liner on the top of the lashes as well on the upper line, and I'm gonna use the Estee Lauder Little Black Liner, which I'm loving, and I'm gonna use the ultra fine end for this. So I just wanna kind of really emulate the shape we've made with that really nice flick outward. So I'll turn you a bit more that way for me, Annabelle, and close. So I'm just gonna keep it right near the roots. And I'm gonna take this all the way along and just kind of follow what we've already done with the shape. And then you can use the thicker end actually just to intensify. So if you close me on the bell. Now for a look this extreme on the eyes, I think you definitely need a good mascara. So I'm gonna go with the Ico Rock Out and Lash Mascara. And this one's really nice because it has quite a thick ball on the end of it. So it's really good for creating really intense volume. You could use lashes as well, but I think for me to keep it modern, I prefer to not use lashes if it's kind of a look this statement. So I'm gonna apply lots of mascara to the bottom. If you look up for me, Annabelle. Lots of mascara on the bottom lashes first. And you can get a really nice kind of chunky modern lash with this mascara. And that's how I would wear the look personally, rather than kind of opting for false lashes. And with this look, guys, I'm not actually even gonna curl the lashes. I think kind of the straighter the lashes, the cooler it will look. 
So because Annabelle's got blonde lashes though, I do want to get the mascara right into the roots. So I'm gonna really wiggle it in so that it's really nice and dark at the roots as well. So then taking a little bit of Rimmel Stay Matte, I'm gonna use a little bit of powder, just on a Bobbi Brown Sheer Powder Brush. I'm gonna use a little bit kind of through the T-zone. Again, I want the skin to look real. I think that's quite important to this look. So then I'm gonna take Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow, and I'm gonna take the Sculpt kind of shade, and this is on a Macassar F110. And I'm just gonna apply this kind of in the hollows of the cheekbones. I think with this kind of look, everything is quite nice and angular, but again, still looking like real skin. So I'm just taking that into the hollows of the cheek. So then I'm gonna take a bit of NARS Pago Pago lipstick, which is a really nice kind of your lips, but better shade for Annabelle. So I'm just gonna use this from the bullets. And again, because everything with the eye is so statement, I just don't really want anything to be kind of too lined on the lips or too full on. I'd rather it stay a little bit natural looking. And this has a little bit of sheen in, but it's more of a kind of sheer lipstick. So it's really nice with this kind of look. So you see that's just a really nice gentle lip finish. I think it doesn't take away from the eye or distract from it. So I would always opt for something like that if you're doing this kind of look. And then just for the final finish guys, I'm gonna take one of the NYX Micro Brow Pens, which I've been absolutely loving. Again, I think because the eye look is quite a sort of dramatic look, I don't want too much on the brow. Um, I think even like a bleach brow would look amazing with this look. So appreciate that's not something everyone's gonna to wanna to do. But I'm just gonna use, I'm using the shade Torp on Annabelle. And I'm just filling in any little gaps, but I love the fluffiness of Annabelle's eyebrow. I want to really kind of work with that. So just adding the tiniest bit more definition. And I'm just using really small feathery strokes. And that's the finished look, guys. I really hope you enjoyed that look. Make sure if you're trying the look yourself, you at me in at Harry Makes Up across all my socials and really enjoy the party season. I hope whatever you're doing, you have a really fun time. Makeup's all about experimenting and I think the party season is when you really can have fun with makeup. So let me know how you guys get on. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you soon with more videos. Thanks very much, guys. Bye.